Greetings everyone, my name is Jimmy Linville with 4L Irrigation. I'm the owner and today we're in my wife's kitchen. So it's not our usual situation, but I'm here for two reasons. One, I needed her kitchen table. And number two, she is in California seeing my grandbaby. So this is the perfect opportunity and we won't tell her that this even took place. So uh, one of the most common items that you're gonna come across as a homeowner is what happens if a sprinkler head gets broken or if the nozzle goes bad, or if it's sticking above the grass, or if when it comes on, it doesn't clear the grass. So I'm gonna show you some tools and things today to make your life a whole lot easier if you're trying to change that. We're gonna to pretend today that this is the surface of the grass. And I can't tell you how many times I see this situation. And this is just begging for a weed or, or a lawnmower or a child or someone else to trip over it and break it. And when that happens, then you're gonna to have to change it or have someone out to change it. When someone calls me and says, look, I've got a broken head in my yard, I need you to come out and change it. Uh, I usually say, I am more than happy to come out, but I do have a minimum charge. And really it is pretty easy if you just want, most of the times you can screw that out and screw one right back in. Most all the time they say, no, I want you to come out. And that's perfectly fine. But if you're one of those DIY persons and you wanna do it yourself, I'm gonna show you some things uh, that'll help you make that much easier. So in the scenario, let's just say that this head is broken. This is the surface. The first thing you're gonna to have to do before you can do anything is dig it out so you can see what you're dealing with, right? In this scenario, we can see that we still have this uh, extension riser or this nipple, this cutoff riser that we can look at. And we can see that it was sticking above the surface of the grass. And we wanna bring it even to the grass. So in this scenario, there's a couple things we can do. One, if this is ever broken off, you can get a needle nose pliers and you'll probably work on it 15 or 20 minutes unless you get really lucky. Or you can get one of these tools and it's called an extractor and you just stick it in and you turn it and it makes your life so much easier. So that would be the first tip I would give you to get an extractor if you're gonna do this maintenance yourself. And then in this scenario, we could probably, if we're gonna put that same exact head back on it, we could probably just cut this down this, these have different ways that you could cut them. And if we measured right, we can put this one back, the same exact head back on here. And we're gonna come pretty close to being at surface level. So again, if we buried this all back, you can see that now we are right below the surface on this. And so pretty close to being where we wanna be. In this scenario, it's gonna pop up and it's gonna do just fine. One of the things that you need to look at though is there are different types of heads that you use. This is called a rotor, and these are spray heads. And I can put a nozzle on this one that goes anywhere from one to um, you know, several gallons per minute. And the same on this. If I have a three gallon per minute on this, this is gonna pop up and it's gonna go in whatever direction I tell it to, anywhere from 360 to a 90 degree scenario or less, and it's gonna deliver in that whole area three gallons per minute if it has that nozzle in it. On this same head, I may have a fixed head that is 15 foot, and it's putting out four gallons a minute on here. So the reason that we would never wanna switch these in and out is because we need match precipitation. We need this one, the most it's probably gonna go is 15 feet, and this one can go up to 30 feet. And we would actually run this one a lot longer than this one, or we're going to flood the area. So number one, if you take out a spray head, replace it with the spray head. If you take out a rotor, replace it with the rotor. If you look at a zone, everything should either be rotors or spray heads. They should not be mixed. So make sure of that. And then secondly, uh, look and see what you're dealing with. You're, you're probably going to find either a half inch or three quarter inch threads on this. If you have a three quarter inch and you go out and just buy a regular nipple from Home Depot or whatever, if you don't buy the right size, it's not gonna work, right? This fits into this one, but it will not fit into this one. However, there are different things that you can buy. For instance, these are called swing joints, and I can't tell you how helpful these are for a couple reasons. They have them where it's the same side on both ends, so I could get two three quarter inch ones like this. I could get a three quarter and a half like this, or I could get all half. Say in this scenario, if we were putting this spray head on, and yet we had a 
three quarter inch nozzle that we needed to go into on this one, then we would just get one with a half here and a three quarter here and we could put it in place. Here's the beautiful thing about these and we'll use, we'll use this half inch one because we have half on both sides of this pipe. If you, it's difficult because they put this pipe up too far and you can't go down deep enough by putting a regular nozzle on it. You can put this swing joint on here, dig out below this so the pipe is still in the same place, and then simply move this to where you want it. And now I can make it at any level I want, from here to here. I can go all the way up or I can go down. So this is probably the biggest tool that you can use to get your sprinkler heads at the right depth. And you want them just at the surface. In this scenario, this, this head's gonna come up four inches, but that's the other thing I need to consider. This head's gonna come up 12 inches, this one's gonna come up six inches, and this one's gonna come up at two inches. I rarely ever use this because many times grass is two inches. So if the head, if the, this only comes up two inches, I'm not even gonna be covering the grass that I'm trying. That's as far as that one's gonna come up. Now, if I have uh, these in a plant bed though, and I wanna come up above some annuals or, or something else that's blocking the way, then I may need something as large as this. On these larger ones, they actually have an option of either running, running to the side or to the bottom of these. So this is handy to keep in mind because in this scenario, with our pipe right here, if I were to put this swing joint, even if I had a 12 inch one, it's gonna be difficult to get it to the level I need. But if I go into the side of it, right? If I go into the side of it here, it's much simpler. I'm still gonna to have to dig down because I'm gonna to have to get this where it needs to go, but at least I don't have to have this that far down. So again, a helpful hint. Make sure you know which size that you need. Okay, and then what if, what if our scenario was just the opposite? What if this is buried so deep that when this head comes up, when the nozzle comes up, that it doesn't clear the grass? And we see that many times. And there's something very simple for that. These are extensions. Again, they come in three quarter and they come in half inch. And you can cut these off to make them go to the right size. And literally, all you do is unscrew it. You screw this on the bottom, screw it back on to the same exact size, and now I've just increased that by three inches. So again, if your heads aren't clearing, you're just wasting your water because it's not gonna get you the coverage that you need to go. Uh, the other simple thing to do sometimes, if you can, is cut this nipple down. If you have a scenario where they've got a long nipple on this, you can come in and cut it down and you may not even have to use a swing joint. It all depends on how deep this pipe is and how tall of a, a spray head that you have. Then the last thing is uh, replacing nozzles. Again, very simple. You can either get a tool, and this tool will catch on to the old spray head, and you can just pull it up like this. Or probably the simplest thing is you can just get a screwdriver, and you can place it under here, and then you can pull this up. And you just screw off the old one. Uh, if there is a filter in there, you take it out, you put the new filter back on, replace it with the right head. There's, there's end strips, there's all sorts of heads. So if this is actually a 12 foot quarter. So I wanna make sure that I put the right appropriate head or um, nozzle back onto it. And then I wanna make sure that it is from the right direction and I'm good to go. There are two basic types. This, uh, it doesn't matter if it's a hunter or a rainbird, this nozzle will fit on all of those except for these type, and these are usually come like on the Toro. And so again, you have to make sure you have the right nozzle for the head that you have in your ground. So I hope that helps you. This is the most common maintenance item. All lawns are gonna need this. Uh, you can do it yourself um, inexpensively. If you're in the North Texas area, in the Keller, South Lake, Colleyville, West Lake area, I'm more than happy to come out and service and do this for you.